say we do it in English? Uh, yes, we have simultaneous translation. Okay, you have? Thank you very much. Uh, let me say that uh, today has been a very important day uh, for your country, I hope. In any case, a very important day for me, a person who has been engaged for a long time with the Balkans, and in particular with your country and your capital, Sarajevo. I think that uh, we were concerned about the evolution of your country, in particular in two types of directions. One, the direction which uh, make the country closer to the European Union, and the second, which is related to the first, uh, with the lack uh, of uh, common action by the leaders in having a clear position in trying to solve the problems of the country. I think the visit today, together from the, US, the United States Vice President Biden and from the European Union myself, with the idea that the, of having a clear discussion with the leaders of the country to see how we could help in one side and the other side to tell them what we should, we should or we thought that they should do in order to get out of the situation which you are now. From that point of view, from both points of view, I think the visit can be defined as a successful visit. I think we're going to see in the coming future more activity politically, a better understanding among the different leaders, and a better relationship also with the basic countries of the international community that during many, many years have been helping your country. Let me tell you, just to give you an impression, I have, uh, or we have uh, met with the members of the presidency. We have met uh, with the eight leaders of the different political parties. We have met with the prime minister. You have been in the session in the parliament in which you had the opportunity also to meet with several of the leaders of the parliament. So very complete. I had the pleasure of seeing many, many friends, which for some time I have not met, I have not seen. Although, as I, I like to tell you also that in the last month, I had received all the important leaders in, Brusa in Brussels in different occasions, one by one, in order to prepare this visit well. I think, therefore, that has been a successful trip, successful visit. I hope they will have consequences, a consequences better, consequences possible for your country. At the end of the day, your country, the citizens of Bona Segovina, we will care about. And uh, we would like uh, to transmit to the people at large, to the citizens of Bona Segovina, that the friends that were with you in times of difficulty continue to be with you in these times of hope. Thank you very much. <coughs> Questions? Yeah, my pitan, yeah. Uh, Amra Hajjelsmanovic, AFP News Agency. Uh, are you more optimistic about Bosnia's future now than you uh, were this morning? And uh, did the Bosnian leaders pledge anything to you and Mr. Biden? Now, the first part of the question is the general nature, yes. I feel more uh, optimistic. I look at the future with uh, better eyes. I think that, as I said before, the type of discussion that have taken place have been rich discussions. They have understood, I hope, the positions of the international community, and we have understood some of the problems that uh, the leadership has. And I think that after this debate, uh, positive things may come up. Now, pledges. I think that the pledges are uh, very clear. As you know, there are five past two five conditions plus two elements that have to be complied by the authorities of the country in order to continue moving in what has been the policy of the European Union, which is the same policy that the United States, as you have seen today, the policy of the United States and the policy of the European Union is the same, in order to be able to move from a phase that was defined with the face of the international high representative to a phase in which uh, the proximity to Europe will be closer, and therefore we'll move into a European special representative. Uh, that will not happen tomorrow, but this is the way in which we are going to be moving. And um, in that direction, the pledges 
have been clear that the, in a short period of time, the mechanisms, the decisions, the changes that have to be produced in order to, to, for that change to take place, it will be done. Now, we've spoken also about uh, potential constitutional changes. As you know, this is a very difficult issue that uh, cannot be resolved in 24 hours. But I think the idea or the ideas of in what direction, in what manner, in what uh, geometry, the changes in the Constitution could be done, not, as I said, not for tomorrow, but if possible before the election in 2010, probably may move. If not everything, at least some basic elements that will produce changes in the structure of power and the structure of government that will make a country much more functional in the time that we are living. And don't forget, we are in a difficult moment. Not only you, the whole world. We are in a very deep economic crisis. And therefore, efficient governments, governments that can take decisions rapidly, etc., is useful for everybody, but in particular for the people of the country. <clears throat> Hvala vam puno na strategiju.